Hello everyone, another week, another video. We have been blessed here in London with a beautiful weather this autumn. So I have been wearing my trench coat almost every day. I have so many different looks to share with you today, both from my studio slash living room and from the outside. I hope you enjoy it. Have you packed away your white jeans? I'm still enjoying mine. Uh, of course, I wouldn't wear it on a rainy day, but uh, with the black ankle boots, it's a really practical look. I'm pairing my white jeans with one of the best cashmere jumpers I own. I think it's actually described as a cloud cashmere, which I would totally agree with. Uh, here is my thrifted Hobo Boss bag from Everlane. I got it last week, but it's already become one of my favorite bags. I love this minimal yet slouchy style in beautiful soft leather. I went for black accessories uh, such as beret and cashmere scarf to tie everything together. If you live in a warmer climate, you can wear a black tee, a linen shirt and loafers for this look. The easiest way to look put together with minimum effort is a tonal look. And I'm sure you've heard it a million times before, but I believe it really works. All beige is not something I wear a lot because it washes me out, but I absolutely love it. I think it's very sophisticated and chic. My beige pieces are both warm and cool tone, but you know what? I learned to live with it and accept it. I always prefer some kind of contrast in my outfits and adding this lighter beige grey top does the job here by separating different shades of beige. I, of course, added black accessories, but you could easily just stick with white or beige if you wanted to go all tonal. My version is, as always, more casual and very practical, so I can put it on and just enjoy it. This look could be your office uniform, but you can wear structured and tailored pieces casually too. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite things to wear on a daily basis. Uh, these pants are my go-to when I don't know what to wear, but still want to look put together. I love styling them with jumpers or shirts, and a crisp white shirt always gives a boost to your outfit. You can go two different directions here with your accessories, a little bit formal with loafers and structured bag or casual and nonchalant with a beanie, white sneakers and slouchy tote. As you already know, I love adding a jumper over the shoulders because sometimes scarf just won't do. Besides, when you get cold, a jumper is a practical and easy solution. I'm still loving and the love is growing for the all navy looks with just about anything. I can't recommend this merino wool top from COS enough. It's such a great layering piece and it looks chic on its own. I'm loving gold jewelry with navy. I feel like it looks even more expensive and um, luxurious with this color. I think this is a perfect museum or gallery look. Or coffee with your friend. It's very minimal and simple, yet classy. Of course, smart black shoes would be even more classy. But in my humble opinion, a little bit too predictable and too serious. Number five is one of my favorite looks here. I think it's because it combines my two favorite aspect of casual clothing. Chic, thanks to the wide leg trousers and cashmere jumper, but on the other hand, thanks to the oversized beanie and sneakers, cool and modern. A beanie is borrowed from my husband. And here is a tip for you. Don't forget to check your partner's wardrobe. It may be more valuable than you think. Grey in autumn makes me very happy and it's such a flattering color. I prefer it with silver jewelry as it's more clean and contemporary. This look should be called how not to wear black in winter. It's so much more interesting um, and it's not so heavy. 
I know this is cliche, but stripes and trench really do look amazing together. I'm wearing my cotton jumper from All Saints. Um, I think it was from men's department a few years ago. This one is black and white, but your classic navy will work just fine. I like this look with white sneakers for more fresh feel. A basket bag because why not? And in autumn it's more of a grocery basket than a handbag to me. Yes, uh, very simple, very classic. Um, sometimes simple is the best option. Why overcomplicate if you have a perfectly good outfit? Uh, but you could still wear a beanie, scarf, different sunglasses or anything really to make it more you and less generic. And a no-brainer outfit, no white and a trench coat. Again, styling my white jeans, but this time with some old school New Balance and a white shirt for some structure. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I like to have at least one tailored item in my outfit, otherwise I feel too casual and dressed down. And of course I decided sneakers were too casual for me and I swapped them for my loafers. This happens a lot, by the way. This is such an easy look. You can add a white jumper for monochromatic look. I actually really like it. Or you can play with a color or pattern, like in the second look with the striped jumper. Although I wear much less black in autumn and winter than say two, three years ago, I will never completely eliminate it from my wardrobe uh, because I like black. And with the contrasting trench coat, it's just really classy and chic. Uh, here I wanted to mention this winter trick that I have been using for a few years now, a light puffer jacket under your coat. It extends the time you can wear your trench coat because it keeps you warm and it looks really minimal and chic, I would say. I kept my footwear very simple, but with a little shine for some visual interest. Black is a great canvas for your statement jewelry or a nice silk scarf. I feel like I must include a pop of color in my every video, but that just reflects my true style. 99% neutrals and 1% color. And that keeps me happy and makes my wardrobe more interesting. Uh, this is a perfect weekend look. A coffee with a friend, little thrift shopping, when your kids are at school. Yes, that happened. And then Ikea with your family. Uh, why is that? Because it's put together, modern and very, very comfortable, plus layers. You can take off the jumper and still have a nice outfit with a white tee underneath. This color formula really works in my wardrobe, which you can see in the outfit from last winter with a pair of black trousers and a turtleneck layered under the jumper. I love my sky blue shirts and I love them with a beige trench coat. I try to style these two, but for a colder autumn days. So naturally, because I didn't want any black here, I thought of my beige cashmere jumper. I think it looks really good. I absolutely love these super long sleeves of the shirt. Well, it's a men's thrifted shirt, hence the length. Sometimes I like to roll them up and sometimes they just have a life of their own. Besides, these little blue accents really make an outfit. Oh, and here is some more long sleeve trench outfit inspiration that I found on Pinterest. These colors are such a mood booster on a gloomy day. This look was inspired by some old school celebrities. So you may have guessed that the hero piece here is going to be a trench coat. So what I'm wearing underneath doesn't really matter. I just wanted to keep it clean and simple so it doesn't compete with the coat. Actually, it's my husband's trench coat that we just thrifted a couple of weeks ago. I styled it two ways. 
The first one is more feminine and it's about showing the slimmest parts of your body by cinching the waist and rolling up the sleeves. Basically, it's about creating an hourglass shape. I also added a beret to French it up a little. And the second look is not gonna be for everyone, I guess. There is a lot of volume and I personally love it. Sometimes it's fun to play with proportions and not to worry what others will say. I know I will be stealing this trench coat a lot. This is the last look and it's a very casual one. I'm styling my black hoodie with a pair of wool linen trousers. Jeans would be just to dress down for my liking. I feel like it's a very common combo and I like it very much. Uh, footwear is a personal choice. I tried it both with white sneakers and more dressy loafers. And again I'm wearing my thrifted Everlane boss bag. It's very roomy and it sits really nicely on my shoulder. So that's it guys, thank you so so much for watching, please let me know which outfit was your favorite and how you style your trench coat. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and see you in the next one, bye!